It is 8.38 coming up on 8.39, and we have a special guest on the line. We're going to talk once again to Lisa Carey. We talked to Lisa a couple days ago regarding the Harvest Festival, and the Harvest Festival is just now days away. Believe it or not, today is the last day of September. What is happening? Welcome (laughs) to Lisa Carey. Yes, Yes. Uh, we open tomorrow at the... Ventura County Fairgrounds, and we're really pleased to be back after a, a year hiatus from from COVID. Uh, it's going to be following state and county guidelines for protection with COVID, and it'll be a wonderful event for all ages to come out. Now, Lisa, you mentioned you mentioned uh, COVID and and uh, state guidelines. What exactly does that mean for the Harvest Festival? Well, uh, uh, there are a number of layers that we'll be (coughs) instituting, but one of them is that um, patrons will be required to wear masks indoors, and also we have monitors at the building. So when people come in and out, we'll be monitoring so that we will ensure that they will be able to be safely distanced and not too many people so that they'll cause other issues you know we're we're just making sure that it's an enjoyable experience for everybody right so nobody's worried you know nobody why no you want to have a good time and we definitely are looking forward to the harvest festival because as we we spoke about a couple days ago we don't really get a fall uh, per se in in southern (laughs) california we don't really get the leaves falling and the cool weather we don't really get that honestly we don't get it until like january january is kind of our fall um (laughs) but that's too late that's too late because then you're you know it's after christmas and it's the winter time kind of right so we had to kind of manufacture our own autumn (laughs) <laughs> That's, that might be a good way to say it. And um, it's definitely fall when you come out because of the decor and there are many of the artists in theme attire. And I think it sort of gets us in that shopping mode for the holidays because you can gift items. A lot of people um, can be personalizing them from the artists. And when you think of handmade as really something that's unique and going to make your gift stand out and also it was brought to my attention you know with with people purchasing online and everything and and the the cruise the ships bringing in supplies sometimes those orders get delayed so here you are you can enjoy an incredible afternoon with your friends and your family and pick up a lot of your christmas shopping have that done and really special gifting. Yes, you know that's a great point. You know, as a reminder, tomorrow uh, the post office is slowing down our first class mail. So instead of three days, it's oh five days. So this is perfect. No, this is perfect because we can do some shopping and have it in plenty of time if we want to send it to friends and relatives for gifts. Uh, it happens this weekend. We'll have it in plenty of time to uh, for any kind of a slowdown that the post office is maybe uh, experiencing, and and that happens during the holiday days too so this is perfect this is perfect let's get a jump on it and you ever you never know what you just can't live without until you come and you see these <laughs> unique things that you're you're saying now how did they even think of that and how did i not have that and i that, have to yeah. have that <laughs> now i now i need it i need that <laughs> Uh, I didn't know it, but I do now. <laughs> Lisa, let's talk a little bit about uh, food. Is there any food? Yes, there is a food court, but also we have specialty food. So the artists, you know, there's arts and crafters, and then there's specialty food people who are sharing recipes that have been passed on from generation to generation. And um, you can also sample. So it's it's kind of like, grazing throughout and um, they have that in a safe way with COVID guidelines um, there's there's this one that has it's called man cave grub rub there are um, marinades you can use dry rubs or you can add some olive oil and really fun gifting for the man in the house you know there's really fun names with them and there's something for everybody that you're going to find and the sauces, olive oils, um, dips, soups, everything you can think of. Yeah, you had me at sampling. Uh, really, Lisa, you had me at sampling. 
<laughs> yes, you have to come hungry. What? Uh, talk to me about parking. Is there are there places to park at the fairgrounds? Yes, the the fairgrounds offers parking, and it's separate from our festival. So unfortunately, I don't know how much that costs or what the the fee is involved for that. But um, you can go on the Ventura Fairgrounds website, and that'll mention it there for you. And <clears throat> it's right off of the freeway at uh, Seaside Park. It's very convenient to get to. And we're using two of the giant buildings. And then there's a breezeway walkway where there's outdoor activities and an interactive kid zone. So there's a lot going on throughout the day. And strolling entertainers contests and demonstrations so a lot to keep you busy also we want you if possible and and quite honestly lisa isn't it always possible bring a a canned item and lisa you are so right lisa tell us why well we want to always give back and we've teamed up with project understanding so thank you for bringing that up so anybody just go to your pantry before you head out the door Bring a couple canned goods, and you'll help feed those less fortunate in Ventura County, and you'll get $2 off admission. And general admission is $9. Seniors and military is 7 Youth 13 to 17 is 4 But best of all, kids 12 and under are free. So you can really make it a family outing. And bring a canned good, and you're doing your part and we're giving back. So it's a win-win for everybody. It sounds perfect. For more information, is there an online website for us? Yes, thank you. It's harvestfestival.com. And you can purchase your tickets there in advance. Uh, if you are going to bring a canned good, you have to use the regular ticket purchase when you arrive because you'll get a $2 off coupon and then you just go right to the box office. But either way, it's easy and seamless and the ticket is good for the entire weekend. So if you really want something and you didn't get it, come on back and it'll be there. That's a fantastic. We didn't talk about that the last time. So one ticket, (laughs) if you want to come back, you know, it's also just fun. Even if you've bought what you wanted to buy, it's also just fun to mingle and get out. It's because it's always beautiful weather right off the the water at the fairgrounds. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, So that's also nice. And then you go, yeah, you know what? I didn't get to these sauces. <laughs> Let me get to yeah. these over here. Um, yeah, maybe I'll come back and do some more grazing. Exactly. <laughs> Lisa Carey for the Harvest Festival, celebrating 49 years. I hope you're starting uh, party planning for next year, uh, the 50th. <laughs> There's going to uh, yes. there should be a big blowout. That's a, that's a milestone, yes. right? Uh, it is. And I think that it, it, there's something of note here. It's a female run family organization and you know we get it right and that's why we create an event that's wholesome that brings families together and it's all about people coming out for a good time so that they want you to feel like family that's amazing lisa i'm all for women power celebrating 49 yes. years harvestfestival.com don't forget get to your pantry bring a couple of canned goods it's a win-win you get a couple bucks off the uh, ticket prices tickets are good all weekend it starts tomorrow lisa carey thank you so much uh, for calling in and letting us know i'll see you there oh i appreciate you all so much thank you